Well, this gentleman is amazing. He's performed in more than two dozen countries and appeared on Jimmy Kimmel. He's also seen on CNN and the Discovery Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Guy Andrews. Tonight, I am going to bet these guys $500 from my own pocket that says I can get out of this 100 feet of rope faster than you can tie me up. Go! Stop! All right, excellent job, guys. You wanna have a seat in those chairs right there? We'll see how much time is left on that clock. One minute and 14 seconds. That means I have three minutes and 46 seconds to escape. So hit that reset button. I'm not out by then. $500 for you guys. That be me too. <laughs> One, two, three, go! David, we're gonna play a little game of imagination. First thing I need you to do, imagine that I'm holding four very large playing cards. Can you do that? It's not too difficult, but it's gonna to get tougher as we move along. Next thing I need you to do, picture inside of your imagination that these are the four queens from a pack of playing cards. Have you got that? Excellent. Now I'm going to reach deep inside of your imagination and remove two of the queens. Which queen do we throw out this time? The queen of hearts or the queen of diamonds? The queen of diamonds, gone. That leaves just one queen left in your imagination, correct? The queen of hearts? So if you're imagining what I think you are, you have four cards, four queens, but only one of which, the queen of hearts, is facing forwards. Is that correct? Well, let's just see how well you've done it. I, too, have four cards, four queens, but only one, the one you imagined, the queen of hearts is facing forwards. But not only that, David, in fact, I knew before we got here that you were going to imagine the Queen of Hearts. And to prove that to you and everybody else, I made the Queen of Hearts a little different by making it the only queen with the red back. But not only that, David, you chose to throw away the other three queens. So really, there was no reason for me to bring them at all. You're going to vanish the shot glass inside of the bag. Now here's what happens. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up my sleeves, toss in the glass, snap my fingers, gone! Vanish into the very ether itself. You don't look like you believe it. <laughs> That's okay, watch, check it out. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reach inside the bag, I'm gonna turn it upside down and pull it inside out. So I can show you the inside and the outside. I can beat the heck out of it. Do me a favor, reach down in there, grab the bottom of the bag and pull it inside out. Anything in the bag? Check it out, watch. A snap of my fingers and back inside at the bottom of the bag. The shot glass. So we're gonna pour just one more little shot, just like so. And once again, we're gonna bring out the bag. This time, we're going to invert the bag. Spill it. Over top of the shot glass. And I wanna do this because I want you to reach inside and feel it. Make sure it's actually in there. You can feel the glass in there, watch. All right, now check this out. One, two, three. Gone, Then Check it out, into the very ether itself, one might say. Now look, I'll reach inside the bag again. We're gonna pull it inside out. Check out the inside and the outside. Beat the heck out of it. Reach in there, grab the bottom of the bag, pull it inside out. Anything in the bag? Check it out one more time. A snap of my fingers and back inside the bag at the bottom of the bag. The full glass of booze. A turn! May the winds of fortune sail you, may you sail on gentle seas, and may it always be the other guy what says this drink's on me. Ladies and gentlemen, Di Andrews!